Hey adventurers, welcome to Utah. We've got an excellent night ahead of us. I'm sure we'll find a lot. In fact, we've already found our first thing. Right down here, where is it? Right there is a gopher snake. Really cool to see our first snake. Now, you can see it is in the middle of the road, so we're gonna move him off to the side so he doesn't get squished by a car that might come, and we'll try to find some more stuff tonight. This is Utah, a land of great scenic beauty made for adventurers like us. During the day, it can easily reach over 100 degrees, making only the hardiest species active while the sun is out. The cooler night temperatures bring out a slew of hidden species. So let's get back to our searching. Oh, there he goes, starting to move just on his own. <laughs> All right, time to get this guy off the road. Bye bye, fella. Okay, this is cool. What did we find? This is, oh, this is a pocket gopher. And let's see, it's got, looks fur's a little weak, I don't know. Um, we don't often see these guys above land, but when it's cool, it's pretty neat. So he was just on the edge of the road. Not too worried about him, but there he goes, back into the field. Hey, well, we are right on the edge of both the uh, Bada's pocket gopher and the northern pocket gopher. But we're we're still in the, the Bada's range, so that's probably what that little pocket gopher was. But we still got more to see this night, so let's find what's next. Check out this little toad here. Here, I've even... Even if you can see, I've even got another one in my hand here. These are red spotted toads and he is giving us the best view. So you can see all the little red spots here. And also if you look right behind this eye, that little gland there, the parotid gland, that's where they produce their poison. And for these red spotted toads, it's very circular, very oval. Um, and a lot of other toads have more like bean shape. Um, or triangular parotid glands. So cool to see these guys. If you listen closely in the background, you may be able to hear another one or two. But we'll let our other fella hop down there. They, uh, they're having a good time out tonight. So bye, bye guys. All right, here's another one. Watch them swim through this, this little creek that's here. Nice. <laughs> Feels like he's, oh, is he burying himself? I can still see him pretty well, but that is kind of neat that they do that. I hope and he's almost hidden. Nope, not really. All right, here we go. We got some tadpoles. These are probably those red spotted toad tadpoles since that's what we're seeing. And there's a bunch here. So that's neat. You know, in a couple weeks, we may have little toadlets all around. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Look at that. That guy is itty bitty. That is a somewhat new, uh, new toad. Definitely another one of these red spotted twos. Um, there's a chance that we may see something else, but that's what they look like when they're pretty small. So neat. Well, I hope if you find a snake or a toad or something else in the road, you'll also move it out of the road, help it out of the way so it doesn't get run over. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.